What's up everybody? It's Anis here and welcome to another episode from Palm Jumeirah, Dubai. Today we're checking out another one of Alpaca Properties developments. Beautiful modern design, rooftop deck, subterranean garage, amazing views. This house has it all. It features five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 16,963 square feet of enclosed area built on a 15,836 square foot lot and it is currently on the market for $45 million. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. And before we start our tour, I wanna to give big thanks to the developer, Alpago Properties, and the listing brokerage, B1 Properties, for giving us the honor to show their listing to all of you. And now, let's begin. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Beautiful modern design. Second floor of this property kicks out a little bit, all clad with travertine, and it really gives this house a very distinct look. I love these louvers that are right in front of these glass panels. Then you have the reeded sections and the edges tapers off beautifully. Now we also have stone clad on the first floor. Landscaping looks really nice. And you have the walkway taking you to the front door, two water features, and we have the driveway going down to the lower level where we have the subterranean garage. That space is amazing. And this home consists of four levels, including the rooftop deck, facing the amazing views. And lastly, we also have a small walkway that takes you to the backyard. That's your catering access. That way, if you throw events, if you throw parties, you have an easy access for cars to park and get close to your backyard. Lastly, we have the entry here and our pivot door. And now let's go inside. Here we are at the entry, beautiful pivot door, keypad lock, and come into the spacious atrium. Right above, we have these linear marble hinge light fixtures that look gorgeous. And we saw the travertine tones on the exterior, and they brought the same tones to the interior, but this time they picked ceramic tile to kind of replicate that look. Ceramic is more durable and has that more uniform look. On my left-hand side, we have this art installation. It weighs around 2.5 tons, made in India, has this aged steel look and goes all the way to the ceiling and it really sets the tone as you walk into this property. We have a ceiling mount chair from Roberto Cavalli, another art installation on the other side and between the entry and the great room, we have these steel rods starting from floor all the way to the ceiling, separating the entry from great room and this great room is incredible custom furniture throughout, amazing views. We have the coffee table right in the center, four different natural stones contrasting nicely with each other. You have your sectional couch here, two chairs, sofa on that side, and right above me, we have this custom chandelier that costs around $150,000, which is not a small number, and I just love the lines, LED lighting, natural stone application, agate piece right here it looks gorgeous and really frames the space. Now, this room is all about these views, motorized sliding glass doors open up. These are from Eurosystem and the particular brand is called Gersili. And because of the tin profile, it feels like indoor is connected to the outdoors. We have the amazing pool in the backyard right in front of us. And we're gonna see that part later in the tour. Now, great room actually connects to the dining area, but before we go there, I wanna take you guys to another hallway here that goes to two rooms. We also have an art installation here that really brings texture to the space. Awesome great room. Now, coming to this hallway, the first door on my left opens up to the office. This space is located on the left side of the property. I wanna first talk about this desk setup. It's from Giorgetti, and it looks like it came out of a Boeing 777. I mean, it looks gorgeous. The stitching, the leather clad, the lines, everything about this table 
is just phenomenal and chair also matches that. On the back, we have this glass art with backlighting complemented with these curved panels. On my left hand side, we have the motorized sliding glass doors opening up to the side of the property. That way you can access directly to your office rather than going through the front door. And on top of that, we have these aluminum lures, which you can also open. And it's just a really nice view to look at. On this side, we have the marble wall, lettered, looks great. And in between, you can see these sand brass inlays, open shelving, TV, great office. And we even have velvet wallpaper here. Great space. Now, right on the other side, we have the first guest suite. I'm gonna start with the bathroom. Same ceramic tiles are also here, mosaic back wall, this really unique vanity design with curved lines, and we even have a small light fixture right here. LED lit mirror, agate accent piece with backlighting, another agate piece on this side where we have the open shelving, hand beaded brass, a lot of textures in this bathroom, and we have the water closet here, walk-in shower on this side, rain head above, and it's a good size bathroom. Now, right on the other side, we have the bedroom, king size bed with this long headboard design. Above that, we have the agate wall with backlighting, looks great. We have the polyform built-in cabinets on this side, TV right here, and more importantly, motorized sliding glass doors open up and connect this bedroom to the backyard and the amazing views. We also have motorized curtains and blackouts, so I wanna point that out. Great bedroom, nicely detached from the rest of the house. Now, coming back to the entry again, we're gonna go to the other side. Great room is all open, connects to the dining area, and after that, we have the staircase. But first, I wanna bring everybody's attention here. Two details on this side, number one, these columns are clad with this really unique finish. This is the first time I'm seeing this. They call it caviar cladding. And it's basically these small bubbles with epoxy and they just cover this entire column here, which creates a really unique texture. And based on the color scheme of your house, you can pick whichever color you like. Now let's come this way. We have two beautiful glass displays, open shelving inside, same sand brass tones are also here. And on the other side, we have the second one. There you go, looks beautiful. Complements the dining area. And right next door, we have a powder room. It's really interesting to see the way they designed this room. We have two vanity setups here, replica of each other. It's all agate stone. We've been seeing agate already a lot in this house. And this one has more of the black tones. Same for this vanity here. And then you have your beautiful axor fixtures with marble top. And on the back, we have this rocky wall design and the mirror is actually separated into two pieces, both here and between the bathroom. So there's a nice connectivity there. A lot of textures, a lot of colors, beautiful powder room design. Now, right next to us, we have the dining area, beautiful marble table from Hench, seating for eight. And above we have this marble light fixture that is quite long. And if you look closely, you can see that it consists of five different light fixtures connected to each other, but they installed them so closely and so perfectly that it looks like a single piece. Now, on the other side, sliding glass doors open up and connect the space to the outdoors. And yeah, you have your dining area here, right next to your seating area. Now, coming this way, we have the staircase, but before I talk about this section, I wanna mention we have the elevator landing here. This elevator has glass on all three sides, and as you go up, you can see marble on one side, rocky wall on the back, and a beautiful wallpaper on the right-hand side. Wanted to mention that. Staff access on this side. And now, let's talk about the staircase. We've been seeing a lot of agate textures in this house so far, and they also utilize the same stone as the base for the staircase. Looks great. You have the threads taking you to the first floor, all marble, glass railing, and they utilize the same marble as a back wall. They created this built-in hand railing, and right in the center, we have this gorgeous hinge light fixture that goes all the way to the top floor. This is a statement piece. This is one of the first things you see as you walk into this property, and right in the center, we have this beautiful piano. We have the same marble wall also here, but in between, we have this rocky wall texture with these small wall sconces, kind of lighting it up and just creating more depth in this wall. Beautiful space, and we have a pocket door here taking us to the family room. This part of the home kicks out a little bit. We're a little bit closer to the water. On my left-hand side, doors open up to the pool area, and up front, we have the sliding glass doors open up straight to your staircase access that leads you to the beach. This space is super cozy, sectional couch here, Bang & Olufsen TV, 
and above, we have this really unique lighting approach. It's certainly bold. We have about 40 to 50 bulbs here with LED lighting inside, and it just gives a ton of character and a ton of color to this space. Now, let's go to the other side. We have the informal dining area and the kitchen. I also want to mention the architectural concept of this home was designed by LW Design Group and the interiors were done by CK Architecture. I think they did a phenomenal job. House looks great. You guys saw it on the exterior. Backyard looks even better. Now, informal dining area, Minotti marble table, sits for light fixture above, really complements this warm family room. And here we have the kitchen. Now this kitchen is really unique. We have the polyform cabinets on this side, island on my left, and the entire space connects to the back where we have the chef's kitchen that we're gonna see in a bit. Coming to this side, Gagano gas stove, oven setup down below, marble countertops and backsplash, and you have rest of your appliances here, oven setup, espresso maker. And I feel like if you're gonna have a modern kitchen and you wanna leave your appliances exposed, Gagana is definitely the way to go. Their appliances look absolutely gorgeous. Now coming here, we have the island. This island comes from Hench. Hench is a furniture manufacturer, so it's a really unique approach to have a company design, or a furniture company to design your island, but in this case, they did such a phenomenal job. It's all marble clad. You have unique angles and cuts, then marble veins and details are book mashed throughout. Your drawers are so seamless, and if you actually look right in the center, this is where we have the seam because this island actually comes in two different pieces. We have the sink on this side, drying rack here, beautiful details. I don't think we've ever seen an island design like this before, minus the other Alpago property that we toured in Palm Jumeirah. By the way, if you haven't checked that video already, Make sure to check it out. We will leave a link in the description. That property is facing the other side. This one is facing this side of the front. They both look gorgeous. All right, that's it for the kitchen. We have the paneled fridge and freezer here. And going in, we have the chef's kitchen. They also use the same polyform cabinets, also here with different fronts. Gas stove, oven setup, island in the center, ton of storage. We have the pop-up plug around the corner. And coming here, you have your sink, dishwasher, three fridges more appliances, great chef's kitchen, but more importantly, we have a dumbwaiter here, which is a great amenity to have. Push of a button, you can push the food from this floor all the way to the rooftop deck that we're gonna see later in the video. Now, continuing our tour, we have the staff hallway here. Secondary staircase takes you down to the lower level as well as the top floor. Again, this is access for the staff, and around the corner, we have an exterior door that opens up to the side of the property. Laundry room, two washer, two dryers, sink, its own AC unit. And around the corner, we have the first staff room, two single beds, skylight above, and it comes with a full bathroom. Now, lastly, we have this door taking us back to the great room, to this amazing space. With that, we're done with the main floor. Now, let's go outside so we can check out the backyard. We mentioned it on the exterior, you have a catering access and a walkway that takes you straight to your backyard. And I mean, look at this. We have the pool right in the center, amazing views, walls of glass open up to the backyard. But first, let's cover this section right here where we have this cantilevered roof line. It's all clad with beautiful stones, a little bit raised from the patio. And coming here, we have a Novara outdoor kitchen. This is your gas grill. You have your cooktop, your outdoor fridge, and looking at the rest of this barbecue area, this cantilever design, stone clad, aluminum louvers, looks so beautiful. We have a Patagonia quartzite here. And coming to this section, you have your fabricated sink that looks so cool. And on top of that, Mikey, let's get a close up. This actually extends out and serves as an additional countertop space. And there you go, looks beautiful. Now, on my left hand side, we have this lounging chair sitting on a single column. So it has this floating effect and it's just a great area for you to relax, lay down, swing a little bit, and we're about 100 feet away from water. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's really nice being this close to the water. Dubai is kind of known for its warm summers, so it's nice to have the water there. Go jump in. We were in there yesterday, and it felt great. Absolutely, or you can use your amazing pool, which is right in the heart of this backyard. Looks stunning. Before we cover the pool, I want to actually talk about the exterior architecture too. By the way, we have two outdoor showers around the corner, and now let's talk about the house for a second. 
beautiful modern design. I love how first floor and second floor cantilevers over a little bit, all clad with travertine. You can see the ship lighting underneath the overhang. And I just love how second floor tapers off a little bit as it comes close to the sliding glass doors. Just looks very minimalist and push of a button. You can just open up your entire first floor and second floor to these amazing views. Now coming here, we have travertine on the floors, lounging chairs, outdoor seating areas. These sliding glass doors open up from the first guest suite that we toured on the main floor. These sliding glass doors open up from your great room. Again, connecting the indoors to the outdoors. And right in front of us, we have the amazing pool. It's the focal point of this backyard. Two Baja shelves, hot tub in the center, and this entire pool is clad with this beautiful natural stone that's actually pre-cut and fully engineered for this pool. And on top of that, they spent a lot of time waterproofing this pool because down below us, we have the subterranean garage filled with amazing cars that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, continuing our tour, we have a small outdoor dining area, sliding glass doors open up from the family room, connecting you to the outdoors. And coming here, we're closer to the bar shelves. We have these really cool outdoor chairs, two bonsai olive trees. These are fantastic. And coming to this section, you have a grass area on the right-hand side of the property with a sculpture right in the center. Your outdoor dining area. Look at the table set up here, looks great. Really close to your family room, amazing flow. And on top of that, you have the staircase here taking you down to this amazing beach. It's really fascinating to me that you walk 15 seconds away from your home and you have access to body of water like this. One of the things you always hear about in real estate is the importance of location. If you've been watching our videos lately, you know that we've been spending more and more time in Dubai. There's something different about being here. The energy is electric and everything moves so fast. It was only 21 years ago that they started building this massive development of Palm Jumeirah and today it's home to more than 100,000 people. It's not only the homes that draw people to the Palm, but also the collection of luxury hotels and malls that lines this crescent. As our team travels the globe, we get the opportunity to tour some of the grandest and most luxurious developments in the world. But Palm Jumeirah is in a class of its own. From single family homes and high rises to the ultra modern city skyline, the Palm attracts the planet's most elite. Featuring the ultimate mix of business and pleasure, with incredible amenities, exciting nightlife, and continuous access to the beautiful waters of the Persian Gulf. Getting to Jetport and the waters inside of the Crescent gave me an interesting perspective of the whole development and it constantly blows my mind that somewhere like this exists. It's crazy. All this is man-made. We have the Dubai skyline on my right-hand side. Royal Atlantis here. And if you look at this front, all the architecture or the new properties that are being developed right now are all modern, and which is something we're not really used to seeing on the other fronts. And this is one of the reasons why this front and this particular development really stands out. And turning back, I mean, look at the architecture of this property. It's truly stunning. Roof lines, walls of glass opening up towards these breathtaking views. With that, we're done on the main floor and the backyard. Now let's go back inside so we can check out the lower level. Here we are on the lower level. We have this close off section here, staircase on my right hand side. And going through this opening, we have this paneled wall. Behind that, utility areas, pool pumps, electrical panels, and there's also a hidden door here that leads you to your driver's room. Single bed on my right hand side, built in closet, and this door opens up to a full bathroom with a washer and dryer. And now coming back to the car gallery, amazing space, beautiful cars epoxy floors and I really like these recessed in LED lighting that they have around the cars. On the right hand side we have the panel section with more LED lighting and this space looks incredible and having a subterranean garage like this in a home in Palm Jumeirah is quite rare that's why this space is so special you have the garage door tucking above your ceiling opening up to this incredible area and we currently have six cars here, but if you want, you can probably stack up to 13 or 14 cars here, parking them back to back. We have a really, really strong lineup here. These cars are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I can't take my eyes off this Bugatti Divo. There are only 40 of them in the world. This one costs around $10 million. They also gave us the key. I'm not gonna start this thing. I'm too nervous to even touch it, but when you unlock it, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, right? It's a little close to that pillar for my comfort though. I wouldn't want to open that door. I totally hear you. 
Now, right on the other side, we have the McLaren SLR 722S Roadster. Only 150 of them in the world, around $1.4 million. This car is also just as gorgeous. I feel like it's such a timeless car. Yeah, we had a chance to tour their showroom with their CEO, Ali. They just have an incredible selection of cars. And First Motors is actually also owned by Alpago Group, who owns Alpago Properties. Absolutely. Their showroom is amazing. Make sure to check out the video. We'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, beautiful cars, beautiful homes. Now, right next to the Bugatti, we have a McLaren Senna. This is also an amazing car. They also gave us the key for this car as well. And let me go inside. I'm gonna see if I can fit in actually. Just opening this door scares me, you know? A Little bit close to the Porsche. Exactly. All right, let's step in. Oh, it feels like I'm in a race car, but well, I guess I'm in a race car. Now, if I can find the start button, I'll start this car and... Look above your head. I mean, this is crazy. Sounds dangerous. Okay. Wow. That was something else. And that's McLaren Senna. Oh, that was so much fun. Um, all right, moving on. Right next to that, we have a Porsche 911 GT2 RS. This one is around $400,000, and this one is the Wyzak edition. Next to that, we have a Ferrari 488, around $750,000. And next to that, we have an Aston Martin V8 Series 3. I believe this one was featured in two different James Bond movies. I know the first one is No Time to Die, but I can't remember the second one. I think it was uh, Living Daylights, or... That one. Yeah, it was Living Daylights? It was okay. that one, okay. it was that one. And a uh, beautiful looking car, around $250,000. We have a glass artwork here, and lastly, this Lamborghini Ducati motorcycle, around $100,000. Pretty crazy, looks great. I feel like this video is turning into a car review or car tour rather than like a house tour, but hey, it's a beautiful garage, amazing cars. Big thanks to First Motors, and that wraps our tour on the lower level. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the first floor. Here we are on the first floor landing, nice and spacious. Same ceramic tiles are also here. Staircase looks beautiful. We can get a closer look to this hinge light fixture. And off of the landing, we have the elevator access. And before we go check out the bedrooms on this wing, I actually wanna take everybody this way. This door opens up to a small hallway where you can see the back staircase. And then this door opens up to the hair salon. Now, this is an interesting take. We don't see a whole lot of hair salons in residential homes. I believe we've only seen a couple so far on our channel, but regardless, this space looks great. We have the chair here, ceiling mount shelving here, back pattern looks great. You have your TV mirror, and around the corner, we have a full bathroom with a really cool vanity and a walk-in shower. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour on this level. We have Three bedroom suites on this wing, primary bedroom on my right hand side, but first I wanna take you guys to a really exciting room. This is where we have the screening room. Now you guys know we tour a lot of movie theaters and screening rooms on this channel and this is certainly not the biggest, but the way they designed it with the textures, wall insulation, starlight ceiling above, projector, art installation, it definitely feels contemporary, matches the house really well and personally, it does it for me. I would love to just lay down here, watch a movie, enjoy this place. I mean, look at this. They even have Versace pillows here, come on. Very nice, not to mention it is very cold in here. So crawling under a blanket and watching a movie sounds quite nice. Absolutely. All right, let's continue our tour. Right on the other side, we have the first bedroom suite on this level, definitely good size, king size bed. And by the way, all the furniture in this house comes with the sale of this property. I love these rose gold light fixtures, ceiling mount, and on the back you have this glass panel finish. Above that, another unique texture. Polyform cabinetry here, I gotta show this detail. Every single one of these cabinets are fully specced out, including polyform hangers. I didn't even know they have hangers. We've never seen that before. Super nice. LED lighting, all that good stuff. And coming this way, let's go check out the bathroom real quick. We have a carbon fiber tub here. It's from Splinter Works. They call it hammock bathtub. It's around $30,000. And it is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in any residential home. Did they have to build the tub to fit in the room or build the room to fit the tub? Well, that's a good question. So 
they built the room to fit the tub. Really? Yeah. So architectural drawings, they got these walls just right where you can attach these brackets to the walls because it's floating. So the weight of the tub and water and the person that's in it are carried by the walls on each side. Then you have your satin bronze fixture here, massive picture window facing the views. This bathroom is just stunning. We have the modern pedestal sink here, more satin bronze fixtures walk-in shower, rain head, and then you have your water closet here. Great bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. Additional polyform cabinetry. These rooms are definitely good size. And coming here, we're right above the foyer. We can see those lures that we talked about on the exterior. Views of Atlantis, it's pretty awesome. Now, right around the corner, we have the second bedroom. This one also comes with a king size bed. Again, glass panel back wall, rose gold fixtures, polyform cabinetry, fully specced out, TV letter wall, and coming this way, full bathroom. Finishes are just like the one that we just toured. Carbon fiber tub, again, looks incredible. Views, walk-in shower, water closet, and a modern pedestal sink. Now, going back to the hallway, we have the junior primary bedroom suite at the end of this wing. Two and a half tons, mounted from floor all the way to the ceiling. This is also incredible. And lastly, we have this door opening up to the junior primary bedroom suite. Obviously, size changes quite a bit. King size bed, and look at the backside of this bed setup here. You have glass panels on the outside. Then you have leather panels in the middle. Then you have additional leather panels, hinge light fixtures on the ceiling, as well as the wall here. A lot of unique materials blended really well together and spaces feel super warm and every single room looks towards these amazing views. Push of a button, sliding glass doors open up. We even have a balcony here connecting all the bedrooms that we just toured and the louvers that we saw at the office. They have it also here so you can break the sun a little bit or create a little bit more privacy. And they have these louvers pretty much throughout the house. Now, I wanna face everybody this way. We have a water vapor fireplace here. It's not a real fireplace. It just makes steam and looks cool. They also have solar panels above, so they definitely kept sustainability in mind. And on the back, we have this beautiful marble wall. This is Kalakata Oro with trim details in between. And coming here, I don't know what they call this. It's some sort of like a jewelry box. It's from Roberto Cavalli and Mikey. Can we get a close up? Like, look at these details, the stitching, the wallpaper inside and handles and it's gotta be twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a traveling trunk almost, but really, really fancy. Yeah. Really nice one. Yeah. And it comes with the house. Now coming this way, all polyform built-in closet set up here, LED lighting, and going this way, we have the bathroom. Now we have a lot of details to cover in this bathroom. I'm gonna start with the vanity, beautiful fabrication, hidden drain, Axor fixtures, and on the bottom we have the cabinetry nicely curving with brass lattice on top, and the same curvature actually continues to the top where we have the LED lit mirror, looks great as a single unit, and on the left we have the rocky wall texture that we've been seeing around where we have the open shelving, and coming here, freestanding tub. The slab right here is book match, but it's actually porcelain. This is one of the most beautiful porcelains I've ever seen in my life, meaning it's a manufactured stone and around the corner, spacious walk-in shower with a massive rain head. We have the water closet here, bidet, skylight above, great bathroom for the junior primary bedroom. Now, that's not it for this level because right off the landing of the first floor, we have the primary bedroom suite and it starts right here, another incredible space. And since this part of the home kicks out a little bit, you're closer to the water and it feels like you're floating above the sea. Motorized sliding glass doors again open up. We have a Juliet balcony here, and this is the main balcony that I mentioned earlier, connecting the entire first floor and all the bedrooms. We have the Royal Atlantis development on the left, canal views, Dubai skyline, and they also have a ceiling mount chair here. It's just a great spot to sit down and just get lost in your thoughts looking at these views. Coming back to the room, king size bed right in the center and the developers here, Alpaca Properties, they actually ordered an Aston Martin bed here. But unfortunately, due to supply chain issues, they have not received it yet. It's one of the most expensive pieces of furniture they have in this house. So I wanted to point that out. Now, coming here, we have a painting that reflects Dubai skyline on water. 
and on top they have this steelwork contrasting nicely with this painting Bang & Olufsen TV and lastly on the back we have this rocky wall and this really cool lighting installation that starts from the wall goes to the ceiling and goes all the way to the edge beautiful bedroom and we have this door opening up to the bathroom and the closet just like the rest of the home it's all open facing the views water closet and bidet on this side and this is a tiger onyx freestanding tub and this thing is just crazy we were actually here a few months ago and we got a chance to see this home during construction and when they showed me this piece i was like how did you guys even get it to the first floor it's massive but it looks great it's actually backlit and around it they have this designer tile which is basically a printed tile that creates this figure on the back including the bottom and yes this is your freestanding tub we have an axle fixture and on top of that because this tub is sitting right here and this section is cantilevered a little bit they had to reinforce the structure to make sure this sits level and it never like caves in wow amazing and this is your open walk-in shower another rain head above these axle fixtures are actually really really good this is the first time i'm seeing this brand in person and it looks great massive glass wall great bathroom i don't know how many times i said views but more of these amazing views now going back let's cover the vanity this is a really interesting setup here it's stone fabricated we have a drawer here hidden drain two fixtures and on top of that we have the bottom section where you can put your towels and it just creates a nice contrast and goes to the side creating some separation between the shower and then on top of that you have this women's shoe heel that serves as a column on the bottom and serves as a dresser or like a jewelry box on top push of a button it actually raises and you have all the shelves everything you need inside and on the left since this was for the women they have a cabinet with a mustache really unique design elements so i had to point it out now that's it for the bathroom going to the other side polyform cabinetry again this entire closet system was built with their glass doors and drawers fully specked out we have the island in the center leather countertops just a beautiful space and on top of that you have additional space behind this door and it's actually key coded because it can also serve as a safe room this wall is actually concrete so you have a little safe space there as well now that wraps our tour on the first floor let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor Here we are on the top floor. We have this open landing area here. Sliding glass doors open up to the rooftop deck. But first, I want to take everybody this way. On my right hand side, we have a small kitchenette, espresso maker, microwave. And coming here, we have two doors opening up to the outside where we have the utility areas, air conditioning, and all that good stuff. And on top of that, you can actually access the solar panels that we have above this property from these areas. Now, coming in here, we have a small powder room stone fabricated vanity with backlighting vessel sink mosaic back wall and this really unique mirror setup that we've been seeing throughout the property they have it here marble back wall they even put some roses here to dress up the room now before we get out i also want to point out we have the elevator landing here right next to the powder room now let's continue our tour we have this opening taking us to the gym this is a really exciting space that we have on the top floor of this property. Sliding glass doors open up to the rooftop deck. These are fantastic. It's all open. And of course you have your gym equipment here, all techno gym. You have your TV, mirror back wall. I really like the strip lighting that they have on the ceiling. And on top of that, they have this really unique stencil detail on the ceiling that goes down all the way to the wall. And coming in here, we have a full bathroom beautiful satin bronze fixtures walk-in shower everything you need complementing your gym now on top of that i mentioned earlier sliding glass doors open up in fact mikey can we hit it for sure here we go there you go they're motorized push of a button they just open up and connect this space to the outdoors i want to step out for a second on my left hand side rooftop extends out we have a seating area planters glass railing all around and going to the right hand side, we have the main part of this rooftop deck, another outdoor seating area, fire pit in the center. And right next to that, we have the outdoor dining area 
and look at the table set up here with the chairs, cutlery, details. It looks incredible. And on the back side, we have these beautiful steel planters that look so contemporary, so elegant. And we have the outdoor kitchen here. It's the same Novara kitchen that we saw in the backyard. You have your sink, gas grill, fridge. You even have a gas cooked up above your countertop, which is super cool. And this is the dumbwaiter that we have at the chef's kitchen. It comes up all the way to this level. You can just open it up and service your dining area. It's a nice convenience to have. House looks great. Sliding glass doors open up, but more importantly, these views are absolutely fantastic. Since we're near the end of a front and close to the crescent, the barrier island around the palm, we get these wider canals, bigger bodies of water, absolutely fantastic views. We have the Royal Atlantis on this side, Dubai skyline over here. It's just really exciting to be here to get the opportunity to share this experience with all of you. And now let's fast forward a few more hours so we can see this place at dusk. life and career, I've been around the world a few times. Each location, each city has an energy of its own, a culture that goes beyond language or tradition and into something else. Dubai always leaves me with a feeling of wonder. It takes me back to my youth, wondering what could be possible in this life of mine. It's the ultimate example of speed and pace, how quickly a people can build ideas from concept into reality. Every year, tens of millions of people around the world visit Dubai to bask in the wonder of its achievement. As our team joins with them, we can't help but be impacted by the city's incredible spirit of progress. For me personally, I leave Dubai with a clear vision and a renewed sense that anything is possible. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you all enjoyed this video. My hats off to Alpaca Properties for doing an amazing job with this build. They always look for ways to push boundaries and set new standards in Dubai. And I believe they have accomplished that with this house. I also want to give big thanks to the listing brokerage, B1 Properties, for giving us the honor to showcase their listing to all of you. And if you want more information about this property, make sure to check out the links in the description. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.